A stunning new survey from AARP. Half of workers between the ages of 45 and 70 who've been out of work over the past five years are still not working. Tony Bashara, author of four books on how to find a job and the creator of JobSearchSolutions.com is here. He's my favorite jobs expert. Tony, welcome back to the show. It's great to have you here. If you're one of those people out here. there, and I know folks are watching the show tonight who are, if you're one of those folks who's been out of work that long, what do you do? Well, the longer you stay out of work like that, the worse off you are. Yeah. You've got to be ready for a very difficult road and know it's going to be hard. But you have to take absolutely massive, massive action. We've talked about that on this program before. Right. But most people don't take enough massive action to get interviews, to perform well on those interviews, and realize that it's going to take a boatload of interviews and a very long time to do it. But you have to persist. You always say that you call everybody you know, all of your friends, all of your family, and you tell them, I'm looking for a job. A lot of people are, are embarrassed to do that, frankly. How do you get over that? Well, it depends on how poor you are, you know. It depends <laughs> on the, how you feel. You know, yeah. if, if the feeling of being embarrassed about looking for a job. You know, years ago that used to be that way, but it's not that way anymore. Most of the world's looking for a job, and if right. they've got one, they're looking for a better one. it's not your fault if you lost it in many cases, right? There was so much downsizing no. and... Right. Yeah. People don't mind that anymore. In fact, I tell people to come up with 120 people that you know and call every one of them every 30 to 60 days and ask them if they know somebody that might be able to use you. And you'd be amazed at the number of interviews you get just doing that. Well, I want you to respond to something that I found disturbing. In the survey, 57% says the biggest burden in getting a job as an employer is they think they're too old. How do you, I mean, how do you deal oh, with that? Come on. Yeah, the, got it out. The millennials think they're too young. People that are overweight think they're too overweight. Uh, tall people think it's because they're tall. Cut it out. Everybody's got this. You talking about me? Attitude. It's just ridiculous. The jobs are out there. You've got to overcome that and get a lot of interviews. You've got to interview with people that want to interview with you. If they don't want to interview you for whatever reason, find somebody else. The jobs are out there. All right. Well, you say the jobs are out there. But my guess is, is when you get out in the workplace, workforce, and you're, and you're looking around, you're calling people, you may not feel that way. You may, may think that those jobs numbers are misleading. Oh, yeah. And don't necessarily look at those job numbers. You've got to look at your particular arena and the kind of thing that you're doing. But most people, and I understand, don't take rejection very well. No. And you've got to realize that you've got to have, you're going to get a ton of rejection. For every hundred calls you're going to make, you're only going to get a hold of 10 people and you're only going to get a hold of one that's going to be interested in speaking to you. Well, if that's the numbers, that's the numbers. And so in order to get two interviews, you've got to make 200 calls. Quickly before you go, lots of people may have to switch their field, right? Might be, they might yes. have to train for a new job. How do you make that decision? Yeah, you got to real you got to be realistic about is the reality of me getting a job in what I'm doing possible. If you're in the oil field servicing businesses these days, it ain't going to happen for another 2 years. So you got to be prepared to take one or two steps back and just be prepared for that. Remember what happened to Michael Jordan. He went from basketball to baseball. He was competing with baseball players. He didn't do as well and probably didn't make as much money. Maybe he didn't need it, but he didn't make as much money. So you better begin to understand that you're probably going to have to take two steps back to gain some steps forward, but do it as quickly as you possibly can, and then go to work really hard. All right, Tony, thank you so much for coming on. That's Tony Bashara. He's the creator of jo JobSearchSolution.com, if you want that website. There it is. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Jerry.